Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, um, this evening we're going to go ahead and get the vintage versus modern razor comparison knocked out of the way. Uh, this time my son, Michael, it's past, you know, he's been in bed for a bit. Um, so he won't be joining in on color com commentary. Anyways, there's a couple of things before I get into the shave that I want to share with all of you. Um, I mentioned that I had made a big order um, for an early Father's Day gift. Well, for me, it was big. Um, it was, or, you know, between 60 and 65. <clears throat> Pardon me. One of the items, it was three items. One was a necessity item. The second item was a just a really nice to have in the den item. And the third is a really, really cool item. Um, the order was made from two places. One was Phoenix and the other was Razor's Direct. First of all, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the necessity item. Um, I consider a necessity item something that you absolutely have to have to shave. Um, actually, when it comes to wet shaving, all, all items are necessities pretty much, at least for the shave. But one thing that I absolutely consider a necessary item is, besides razor and brush, and that is blades brushes not so much because you can go ahead and you can rub your hands with you know, ivory soap and rub your face and shave with that um shaving soap you can go ahead and you can use canned goo why anybody would i don't know um but the two items i truly consider necessity items is one a double edge or single edge razor and second is blades so i picked up Myself, oops, hang on folks, I ended up picking up these Gillette Silver Blues. Um, I've never used them uh, ever, but I've heard so many good things. I figured, you know, if I don't like them, I can always go ahead and just put out there that I'm willing to trade 99 Silver Blues for something that I like. And somebody will jump on it real quick if that is something like Astra SPs. So I pulled the trigger and got a hundred of them. Um, now I don't know if, if, if they all come this way, but mine came in this. Um, I guess you hang it on the wall and you pull the blades out and it says Gillette here. And, and uh, But I've got a three year old so don't need that. Um, the second one is a really nice to have. And that is this. I don't know if I have it right side up. I may, I may not. This is the Fine from Fine Accoutrements. Well, they're the ones that market it. But anyways, it's Fine Classic American Barber or American Blend. Um, and it's not in the thing right now. I went ahead and since they don't have the containers out yet, at least not there on Razors Direct, I stuck mine in this, my vintage Old Spice mug. Now when I got it, it was stronger, the scent was stronger right out of the box, but this is good, um, up there probably close to medium. Um, it's a very hard soap. I'm pushing with both fingers. And as you can see, as you can see, there's not a dent. Oh, there you are. I was looking down a little. Sorry about that, guys. But as you can see, no dents. So it's a pretty hard soap. From what I understand, it is triple milled. So we're going to see how that works. And the third item, and that, that, you know, fine American blend, that's just 
a soap that I've been wanting for a while. So for me, it's really nice to add it to the den. And the third item, um, I've been wanting one since I seen it come out. Since I've seen Douglas Smythe talking about it, I've wanted one. Um, and it is... <coughs> The PAA um, Victorian style. Hang on, my dog's barking. Hurry! Go lay down. Go lay down. My guide dog, even though he's a guide dog, he's still a dog. But this is their uh, Victorian scuttle. Cool thing about it is it comes with two stoppers, one in black silicone, the other in plain old cork. Let me set that down there. I wanted the black, but they were out of black, so I figured, what the heck, I'll go with white. I got this here pill bottle. That way, so I can keep my stoppers together. Um, when I got it, I used it the Friday when I got it beautiful I went ahead and I put hot water and took a shower went ahead and put my my cream of cooling in there went ahead it was a really cool sensation because the lather went on my face nice and hot but then it started cooling down so it was a really neat experience so today I'm just gonna go ahead and load up my brush with my fine American blend and go ahead and build up a light whip up a lather there in the bowl and see how it does anyways so well, let's take a look at the razors in case you haven't seen my first part of this which is vintage versus modern and shaving with a three-year-old um, you might want to go ahead and go back and check um, because I wanted to go ahead and I've seen modern versus moderns and comparisons vintage versus vintage on how they shave um, but I've never seen a vintage versus modern, so I'm going to shave the left side of my face with this. This is my Gillette 195 or 1959 second quarter 195 adjustable or what we've all come to know and love as the E2 Fat Boy. And the right side of my face is with the Rockwell 6S. Um, the first video I shaved in um, I shaved with the razors on setting 654. Today they're going to be on 321. They're both already set on 3. So, anyways, so that's the razors. Uh oh. Okay. The blades are Persona Platinums, or also known as the Persona Red. Shake out, ring out my brush here. My brush is going to be the Razor Rock Two Band Finest Badger in the Barber Handle. Um, the knot is 24 millimeter. Um, and the soap, you already know what the soap is. So let's go ahead and let's get to lathering. So, got my brush, got my soap. Now I've never used any of the fine soaps, like I said, so I'm really excited. Um, don't seem to have any lathering woes yet as far as loading the brush I'm going to put a little bit of water here in my brush So, yeah, it seems to be loading up better. Oh, yeah, 
that's a good load. A little more. And I've got some proto lather over the side here. Yeah, that's a good load right there. Anyways, let me go ahead and bend down here. I want to go ahead and grab my bowl that I normally have in the sink for rinsing my razor. Oh, wait, that's right. It's being, I forgot to bring one in. Took him to get washed. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and I'm going to um, get my face wet and I'll be back in one minute and we'll start loading up. Or actually, oops, almost forgot. No, 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 no. I'm going to build my lather in here. So, let's get some hot water in this here scuttle. Just kind of wet the thing here. And here we go. Oh yeah. Sounds like the neighbors are across the way having a little bit of a party. Across the street over there. Oh, oh yeah. Not a just a touch of water. I almost got the Captain's Choice Bowl, but I've been wanting to scuttle for ever since I found out what they were. I didn't want to get this choice bowl too, but oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good ladder right there. I'll work it a little more. Yeah, that cream on cream, a tip if you guys never used it. Um, that is not a real thick cream. Oh yeah, that's, that's, oh yeah. Oh, that's going to give me some lather right there, folks. Anyways, so I'm cool with that. Anyways, I will be back in one moment. After I wet my face. All right, folks. Oops, got a little bit of luck. the fine ladder on my fingers. Anyways, here we go. Let me set this down right here. Um. Yeah, me since I can't see good enough to dip my bristles under running water or just dip the tips in a sink of water. Um, I just get a little bit of water in the palm of my hand and just dip the bristles that way. Oh yeah. Mm. 
we go. Do a paint over. Um, Thank you, sir. And add a little. Yeah, when I took it out of the box, it was just such a beautiful scent. Um, beautiful barbershop scent. Nope, that's the rock one. Here, fat boy. Here, fat boy. Fat boy. There's the fat boy. Get a little heat in this blade. Anyways, so here we go. Oh yeah. These Persona Platinums or Persona Reds as some like to call them. This is their third shave. I'm probably going to just bank them and uh, Oh, 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 I almost did too much on myself here. Anyways, so that's the left side. On three. Oh, got to do the lip. So. Look at that. I'll probably bank them. And, uh. My next shave, I'll use, uh. Silver blue. Uh, as far as my next video goes, uh, it'll be a uh, shaped in tour probably. Okay. Rockwell success. Um, if you're on the fence about this Rockwell, um, thinking, oh man, you know, it's kind of gimmicky. Oh yeah, the, I don't know, um, I'm thinking maybe the Rockwell might be a little more efficient, cutting a little bit better, um, on setting three than the Fat Boy. Might be, or I might, I might be wrong. Um, not saying Fat Boy didn't do a good job. Um, because it did, it did, it did a really nice job. Yeah. There we go. So let's see where we're at after pass three. The Rockwell might be a little, little more, tad more efficient. I don't know. Anyways, so I'm going to rinse off and I'll be back for pass two. Anyways, here we are back for pass two. I'm just gonna, you know, not gonna go real heavy on the cream or lather. Um, As uh, I don't need to. All I can say is this is a great soap. Um, I think that. I didn't have any problems on the first pass. So, okay. Now, 
I don't want to make the mistake I did two weeks ago and <laughs> sit there and not change my settings. So, that's on two. Fat Boy is officially on two. Get that little core turn twist. And the Rockwell, you have to switch out these plates. So that's three, so slip, flip it over to one, set it there. And that's already set for two. There we go. So I've now got both razors set for two for the across the grain pass. Alright. So here we go. Left side of the face, setting two. Not mad. Yeah. It's pretty much across the grain over in the middle of my neck, so. Oh, don't want to do that. Go. Yeah, when you take a look at some of these vintage razors, it's like, look at the prices they sold them for. I mean, that Fat Boy, I mean, I've seen Fat Boys go for a few hundred bucks. Couple hundred bucks in mint condition. Uh, oh, I think Razor Emporium. You get a uh, one. I guess they call it their revamp. I mean, they're made to order where they'll get as close to the year as you want as possible and they'll re, re, replate it in whatever coating you want as far as with the metals they work with and that's like 195 bucks like 135 for a flipping um, black beauty Hundred and forty five for an aristocrat and look at the prices we're paying for these razors now. Well and I understand they're they're vintage and you could sit there and say, Well yeah, Lance but Look at look at how far the dollar went. Yeah, it went a lot farther, but it's just it's to me it's just kind of kind of you know a little bit mind blowing. And you know, you know as far as <laughs> what they went for and stuff. Anyways, that was past two. Oh yeah, um, the brush that I was uh, wanting to get piff piff out. Um, Nobody commented. I'm in. Um, at this time, I only have 15 subscribers, and I understand that you know a lot of you may not be a big pure badger fan. 
um, and I said I would find somebody that's relatively new at this. Um, the person I found, they've been doing, they're not quite a newbie, but all they had was a Vanderhagen bore brush and um, they were kind of on the fence about Pure Badger. So, um, and his um, bore brush is just, he's been using that, that one bore brush for, well, since he's gotten into it. So it's, it's a little bit more than a year now. So I figured, you know, hey, um, not quite a newbie, but you know, that's somebody that's never had a, had a badger brush. So I piffed it, paid it forward to him. Um, if he likes it, he'll keep it. If he don't, then he'll go ahead, send it back my way. And then I'll go ahead and I'll just find somebody that that's, you know, somebody else that would want it. But, you know, um, so yeah, he's, he's kind of happy to get it. Um, I forgot to, you know, get him a pack of blades. I gotta go ahead and make sure he gets that. So anyways, I'll be back for pass three in a moment. All right, I'm back for pass three. Anyways, real quick, let's get the razors taken care of. All right, the fat boy is now on number one, which as you can see, the most minimal blade, blade gap. Oh, in case you've never dealt with one of these, let me go ahead and do this. Let me do this. That is the blade exposure on one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oops, wrong one. And that is your blade exposure at nine. Now if you look, I mean that blade just really really pops up there with a bit of blade exposure you know and that doors aren't even all the way shut so so we're going to go back down to one eight seven six five four three two one all right um, by the way christian thank you for making the brush possible Just to make sure real quick. No, just I thought, yeah, I already had it on one because it's like you can see that puppy's way down there as far as the blade okay a bit normal go ahead and let her up so
you know, thin lather. I don't need a real thick lather for my final pass. Um, you know, it's just, it's all against growth, knocking it way down, all that good stuff. Yeah, um, Searle Shaves. Nick, if you're watching, thank you. Um, against the grain on the left side, my with the fat little one. Snap has got pretty decent audio feedback, even on one. cheeks yeah I was thinking that at one this might be a little bit too mild to really get the hair up there but yeah it's doing a pretty nice job at knocking it down Yeah, you see uh, Chris Bailey's going on a little bit of a hiatus. Um, you know, um, which I understand. That. I mean, the guy puts up quite a lot of content when he when he really does. Um, when he goes on a run. Um, I mean, like, granted, the videos is only, you know, a lot shorter than mine. You know, I'm still not below that 30 minute mark, down it. But hey, if you're still with me, thank you. I dig the sport. Um, But yeah, so I don't blame Chris Bailey for taking a little bit of a hiatus. If I put as much content out as he did, yeah, I think I probably would too. Um, all right, against the grain with the Rockwell. I had to actually loosen the handle just a touch. Oh, well, even though it didn't sound like it was taking anything off, yeah, it was. The thing I like about this Rockwell 6S. Very smooth. Oh. Okay. Hundred bucks. Well built. Oh. Nice weight. Yeah, um, yeah, I saw them. That one blade has released that core razor. Um, It's plastic. Granted, it's plastic, but you know, it's fifty bucks. No reach. You know, um, and yeah, 
I almost pulled the trigger on the, the Core 45C, which is ba all Bakelite. So, you know, it's Bakelite's a type of plastic. So, you know, the Core, core would, you know, 50 bucks, you know, five bucks more, you know, so. Anyways, I'm going to rinse off real quick and I will be back for the pickups or the little cleanup here. So let's see. Um, not bad. Um, about the same. About the same, you know, which I kind of expected. I mean, they both. Both the Fat Boy and the 6S can get you to baby butt smooth real easy. Um, you know. BBS, DFS, whatever you want to call it, it'll give you a damn fine BSF shave or BSS shave. Um, so, you know, I expected about that, but I was just kind of interested in seeing. You know, so let me go ahead. I'm going to do my cleanups with the fat boy. So I'm going to crank this bad boy up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Crank it down. And go right there. And right there. Right there. And right there. Um, I know I might be shooting myself in the foot. For comparison, but. Even when I shaved on six five four, uh, you know, five four three the other day, um, with this, I still took it up to five to do a cleanup. Not a lot of cleanup required. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Anyways, I'll be back in one minute. I'm going to rinse, and then I'll be back. Uh, then I'm going to rinse and then I'm going to go ahead I'm going to do my head shave and then I will go ahead and come back for the post anyway see y'all in a minute hello everybody I'm back anyways um, oh yeah by the way I had three days growth three three and a half days worth of growth um, anyways because my last shave was Friday anyhow um, as you can see, the razors on settings three, two, then one were more than adequate. Um, I just had a couple of little places I touched up where I went ahead and I cranked it up a little bit to get those couple of little, little spots um, that were like little trouble spots for me. Um, Still got a little bit right there. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, that was probably stupid. That was dry. Anyways, um. So anyways, yeah, in five, and then for my head, I started out on five, and because of the growth, I said screw it. I cranked the fat boy up to nine. As you can see the dome nice and smooth anyways so let's go ahead let's do our post shave first off like always wet my face real quick the razor rock alum on the face mm. not bad oh not a lot of feedback oh right there where I went in I touched up just a second ago uh, with a dry, yeah, that was a stupid move on my behalf a little bit. Um, yeah, very, very little feedback. Um, yeah, that was great. So, yeah. Let that sit for about 30. And uh, now I'll rinse up. Ooh, got a little bit of stinging right here. I did nick myself down there with the with the Rockwell. 
um, which usually doesn't happen, but I'm using a new soap and you know, I've never dealt with a triple milled soap, so the lather wasn't as thick as I had hoped. Um, plus, I was also dealing with, you know, trying to whip it up into a lather and a scuttle, and it worked a little bit. Um, you know, not as much as I'd like, but not bad. Um, I think I'll just save the scuttle for just doing creams, but it was a cool, cool little experiment. Anyways, I'll be back in one second. I'm going to rinse. Okay, so, yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, I've never heard people say that fine is not a good soap, so, when it comes to slickness, cushion glide, quality of lather, so, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get to learn the soap a little bit better. So, anyways, in comes the Dollar General Witch Hazel. A bit more. Okay, that's that. All right, put this up. Do the aftershave, which tonight is, even though it's generic, I love it. It's generic brute green. I actually think this stuff may have a little bit of menthol in it because it's got some burn but then it cools down yeah I saw Paul H use a Floyd aftershave claw and uh, yeah, it had a Spanish name and it was meant to Spanish for mentholated or menthol and something or I forget what it is, but he got it on Amazon for like for a big bottle for like nine pounds. And uh, I, I don't know what the conversion is, I'd have to check, but I mean, nine pounds that's I'm not sure what it would be. So I think I'll check it out and see how much it is. Okay, since we use the Brute Green, or Generic Brute Green, which has menthol in it. I'm going to use an aftershave balm, which does as well. Nivea for Sensitive Skin Cooling Balm. Anyways, I hope wherever you are, where you viewers are, that are watching me, I hope wherever you're at, you're nice and cool, because here where I live in California, oh man, it gets quite warm and humid. Um, another Warhawk, male in Warhawk's world, he lives out there and beautiful northwest Florida. I know they get humid there too, so whatever part of Florida he's in. Um, male, <laughs> may it not get too humid on you wherever you're at, buddy. Um, you know, and wherever the rest of you are, hopefully you don't get too warm or hopefully don't deal with too much humidity because heat and humidity sucks. And, um, anyways, so that's the shave. Oh, quick update on my physical therapy. Um, it's going better. Um, the plank's getting less uncomfortable. Um, I am progressing in that, so that's good news. I'm happy to share that. Um, other than that, everything's been going great. Anyhow, let's take a look at what we used, which, unfortunately, I didn't do on the Memorial Day shave. Um, 
forgot to do that. The razors were for the left side of the face, fat boy, setting three to one. Right side of the face, Rockwell 6S stainless steel safety razor. Plate settings, three, two, one. The, okay. the blades in those razors were both Persona Platinums, also known as Persona Reds. Um, did a great job. Um, I will be banking them after this because I bought a full sleeve of them things and you know uh, I found with Persona, Persona Reds fourth shave is iffy um, could be good may not be good so I don't I, I've got enough blades especially now I don't want to risk it the brush was Razor Rock 2 band finest badger 24 millimeter in the barber handle the soap was In my vintage Old Spice mug, the which I got for Christmas from my wonderful girlfriend Cindy, who by the way was my very first subscriber, babe, shout out to you. Um, fine, classic American blend. Um, hmm. When it sets there for a bit, in the shaved den, inside the den, it, it kind of I'm getting sick and fat. Hang on, folks. I got it. There we go. But the smell kind of comes up. Um, so hopefully it does, you know, gets a little stronger as time goes by. But if not, it's a great soap. Um, even though it wasn't performing optimally, which was no fault of the soap, that was me because I had never used a triple milled soap before. Um, it still performed great. I tried working up a big beautiful lather in my Crown King Victorian White 12 ounce scuttle from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. The post shave was Dollar General Witch Hazel, followed by Generic Green Fruit, and that was followed by Nivea for Sensitive Skin Cooling Balm. So anyways, that's the shave. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I had a great time uh, spending my shave with you all. had a great time sharing my new goodies with you all. Um, once again, Christian, thank you for the brush, my friend. Um, and I hope you all have a great day or evening. Wonderful, one, wonderful weekend, wonderful week whatever, whenever you watch it. Um, stay cool, stay warm, depending on the time of the year. And I'll see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.